we've utilized the uh, the DO sensors um, to, to be able to fine-tune our aeration needs. Um, in addition to that, we've strategically located the ammonia sensors to be able to trim that back even further because we found at times that you know, you can get away from that, uh, that conventional safety factor of two milligrams per liter everywhere in an aeration basin. And we found locations to where we can actually go below two and still completely nitrify in our system. The ammonia sensors allows us to trim back the, the air even further. The sensor net system has allowed us uh, the flexibility to have lower preventative maintenance demands on sensors due to the cleaning technology. Past sensors within the plant did not have um, cleaning mechanisms and the sensor net system um, in incorporates cleaning technology to really reduce the overhead and demand for staff time. Having the sensor net system here on site allows us to look at further optimization options up to and including replacement of blowers, the reduction of needed tank volume to meet the, the current demands. Um, so it's really provided a, a, a next level tool for us to make decisions and to further optimize process, meet permit, and save money in the long run. You don't really have to have outside professional services come in to help you install or even service the system. It's essentially a plug and play system. Um, so there's no need to have you know, maintenance contracts and extra contractors available on site um, to replace sensors and uh, to do maintenance on the system. So it's, it's very operations friendly. Our receiving stream, the Great Miami River, is under much scrutiny for nutrient management. Uh, we anticipate to have some type of nutrient restriction uh, up to and including nitrogen and phosphorus in the near future. And we look to incorporate some type of controls within the sensor net system to track those parameters.